everybody welcome to my usual me welcome back to the long dark and eloper and today we're going to go get the technical backpack today we're going to get the technical backpack up in ash canyon i'm actually over here at the ravine which is right back behind the dam we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over and we're going to grab that technical backpack so that you can go ahead and we can add an additional 11 pounds or five kilograms to your weight i'm going to drop a few things here right quick we got to do a couple of things one thing at the dam before we get out of here but we're going to make it quick getting up to ash canyon and getting the technical backpack is a kind of a long trip and i'm going to try to squeeze it all into one video okay so that's what we're going to do here um so i'm going to we're going to get to the dam and uh, you guys know where the dam is if you don't know where the dam is welcome to the to the game welcome to the channel but um, the dam is going to be our benchmark starting point, and then we'll go all the way up into Ash Canyon from the from the dam, and it should make it fairly easy for you to find the technical backpack. This is the Mystery Lake. Hopefully, we don't have a wolf right here. If I do, that might be interesting. Grab a torch, get it ready. I don't think we're going to have a problem. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I only have 66 pounds right now, which is like 30 kilograms. And that is going to go up to 77 as soon as I keep, if I can keep my food up. After three days, you get your, um, you get your bonus, you get your well-fed bonus, which is an additional 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. Added to your added to your carry weight, so I'm hoping to do that by the time we get there. Um, I don't really it doesn't really matter. I don't really need it, but I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible. The wind just kicked up again. It's gonna it's gonna be blizzarding again. Once we go out this back door, we're gonna get stuck like Chuck if we if uh, if we uh, if we have bad weather. So. All right, we're going out the back side of the dam. Yeah, it's freaking blizzard. All right, well, we're going to have to hurry then. I'm going to take a little damage, but I think I'm going to be okay. We'll get to the cave. Now, when you're on the back, the back side of the dam, um, I never go all the way down to where the wolves are. Because there's no point. If you take and you go, we'll see what this line, this line is. There's a little lip right here. If you go up and just push against this, you're going to climb right up on top of this rock right here. And then you can drop down the back side. And there's a little path. On, there's a little goat trail, a little, uh, little rabbit trail in the back here where you can go ahead and you can just go down it. Or you can bail off the side and you can shimmy your way down that cliff. So either way, we're gonna go this long way here. There shouldn't be a wolf here. There's a blizzard. They should be hunkered down. Now we're gonna take a little bit of damage. I should have waited until the end of the blizzard, but it's okay. Can't feel my feet. That's right. There's a rabbit. And I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I'm going to go ahead real quick. I'm going to eat a cattail. I'm really just trying to keep myself above starving. Okay, we're going to go left right here. And we're going to go up into this cave. And I've never felt so cold in my life. I should have enough warmth on my clothing that I should be able to, to get warmed up. We're going to eat some cattails while we sit in here. Should be fine. Okay, we got one arrow up on the temperature, so we're good. I'm just going to eat all these cattails until I'm full. That way, I don't have to worry about it when I'm when I'm headed down the road. It'll also lighten my load a little bit. Big blizzard, man. Doesn't hurt to have good clothes too. We are an interloper, and let me see what what day it is, right quick. It is day thirty-eight, guys. So we're like. Over a month in. About ready to lose my hypothermia risk, so that's good. Each one of these cattails is um, 
150 calories. I had 25 of them. We should get full here in a minute without having to go over. And that should be good. I'm just going to do 10. We'll leave 10. Drink this water, lighten my load. And... It's good. I'm just going to chill for an hour. We have some time before it gets dark, so... There it is. All right. Should be getting warmer out there too. It's two arrows down still, so it's not, not as warm as I'd like. But we can get, we'll get to the cave before it gets too bad. Not a big deal. Oh, I better make sure. Okay, that's three quarters full. That's not too bad. Would I have gone back for lantern fuel? Maybe. Because if I don't have lantern fuel to get through the caves, I'd have to use my one torch. Feel numb. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wait for here for an hour and just so I can get warmed up. There we go. And then we're going to head all the way to the... It's almost dark. Question is, do I want to... I have to go all the way up into Timberwolf Mountain. So we're over here at Pleasant Valley. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed through. Now, we've already moved the rope that you normally would go down over above the bear cave. And we moved it over to... The radio tower. So I'm going to go to the radio tower. We're going to slip down that rope. I still have enough alertness that I think I'm going to be okay. I don't think I need to sleep the night over at the radio tower. I think I'm going to be able to go ahead and just slip down. And we'll stay the night probably at the at the homestead is where I think we're going to stop at. There's a bear right there. Okay, now I've taken, like I said, I took the rope off of that, that rock that was down there, and I came up and brought it over here and put it on this rock so I can go down this cliff here. However, I am overburdened by... Well, it says 63 out of 60. I don't know if this one cup of coffee is going to do the trick. I have nine more, so we'll see if it works uh, to make me a nut. All right, I am just uh, just under where I need to be. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drink this, and we're going to drop the rest, unless this puts me over. Oh, we're good. I healed my sprain Can't wrist, so I'm not head. overburdened right now, so I can get down this rope now. So let's just go ahead and drop down. I am cold, but I'm not going to take the chance on waiting, so we're just going to go down this cliff. And then we can hit the barn that is on the edge, or the outbuilding that's on the edge of the road, right next to the, the homestead. We're going to sleep there tonight. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and have a sleep right here. As soon as I get my, let's see, my water's good. You know what? Yeah, let's drink a little bit more water. And we'll sleep for 10 hours. Should get all of our, all of our health back. All I can think about is food. Now we're just going to take the, the wires. We're going to follow the wires to the homestead. That way we don't get lost. Here we go. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Right here. Just enough warmth to get us to the house. Without losing any health. 
We gotta wait this out though. Now we've already cleared this, so there's nothing here. Like there won't be any water, there's no uh, there's no food. I've already cleared all of this, so. But we can make some more uh, c uh, some more coffee and some more tea while we're here. So we're gonna make some, uh, if, do I have any firewood? I could bust this down. Uh, we'll do two hours. It's still early morning, so we're not gonna be leaving until the afternoon. My stomach feels like an empty pit. Okay, so yeah, we did we did let ourselves get hungry. That's okay though. I'm not worried about it. I've, I have enough carry weight that I'm gonna be okay. Come on. I did it. That's four hours. Do the water. Okay, and we'll do another water here. 36 minutes till that's boiled. Let's just go ahead and do that, and then that's gonna give me all the water I'm gonna need for anything here. Let's go ahead and go. We'll go another cup of tea here. Do a cup of tea here. Well, I guess not. I guess that was all I had. Okay. Cup of coffee. Probably gonna need this for our energy down the road, so. And I'll leave this extra here, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna drink a, a cup of tea, and we're gonna head out. Late enough in the, in the afternoon, we should be all right. Not bad, that's not bad. I mean, it's cold, but it's not bad at all. I could have uh, heated some more water up. I mean, some more tea up. We could have heated some coffee up. Could have carried a torch. I'm um, not too worried about it because I know where I'm going. We're going over to the creek, and then we're going straight up the side of the mountain to go into the cave that's, that's going to be able to allow us to bypass Skeeter's Ridge and go right through the plain. And then we're gonna go right to the uh, to the prepper's cache. So we're just barely get, we're gonna take a little tiny bit of damage each and every time from the cold, but it's not gonna be bad. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go right up the hill. Okay, here's the cave. He's breathing hard. So we can get our temperature up and get some food in our belly. We've got some, uh, we got a, no, no, we don't have very much firewood at all, do we? Those are cattail heads. All right, let's see. We've got three more. We're going to save these birch bark teas. I'm just going to eat a couple of cattails to keep me from starving at the moment. want to make sure we have... Um, at least five cattails for di or for dinner tonight. So let's see if we can go. You know what? I might be able to maybe we'll just start a fire real quick. At ninety five percent, we should be good. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna do this for an hour real quick until I'm warm. There we go. All right. So we haven't lost a lot of health, but it I is gonna get dark here in a second. I'm going to save my, you know what I am? Now I'm going to drink that, that birch bark tea because we're going to starve here in a second. And I need, I should have heated that tea up. That's my bad. Why didn't you grab a torch? Because I'm already out the door. That's why.
This is the safe way to go. This and this prepper cache is always here, even an interloper, so you never have to worry about. It. I've already gone through all this stuff, guys. We've already uh, we've already gone through all of these cabinets and lockers and everything, and everything's been emptied out. We've gotten everything we can from it, so not really anything we can do right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to bed. What I should now we're gonna we're gonna eat and go to bed. That's what we'll do. It's okay. I need needed five cattails for the night. We're gonna keep that one cattail just for giggles. Why not? Okay, let's go ahead and drink our water. We'll head to bed and we'll see how, how we look in the morning here. Ten hours. Just enough so I don't lose any health. Okay, expired my restored condition, but that's all right. Let's drink some more water. And I could eat a horse. Let's see. I might. Okay, let's go to pass our time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're if you're completely alert and you can't sleep anymore, it's you got to wait past two hours worth of time, and then you can sleep for an hour. So we're gonna pass two, and then I'm gonna sleep for an hour. We're not leaving right at dawn. It's too cold. I'm gonna sleep for an hour. And I'm going to lose a little tiny sliver of health, but I'm not too worried about it. It's still going to be too cold to be out there. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time here busting this down. Yeah, I'll just use a hatchet. Screw it. All right. And we're going to take this wood. I'm so hungry. We've got meat over at the, at the cabin. I forgot about that. I have meat at the cabin. That's great. Let's, um, I'm going to take these torches. We're going to break these torches down. We're just kind of waiting for... I'm going to take that recycled can, too. We're just kind of waiting for the, um, for, the, for the day to heat up a little bit because it's really cold in the morning. You really shouldn't be messing around in the... Uh, you know, walking around too early. And let's go ahead and uh, harvest these guys up. I don't need these little dinky torches, so. But I'll use the sticks, though. And they only take two minutes to break down, so it's not a big deal. Like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not wasting any calories to speak up. A little bit, not much, maybe a calorie or two. Or I'm sure somebody will do the math and tell me exactly how many calories per minute you use. I think it's like three calories a minute, probably. So this is like six calories to break that down. Okay, so we're at 63 out of 66 pounds right now. Uh, we can go ahead. I'm going to leave these torches. I'm going to use these torches probably down the road. Um, I keep that one rock on me just in case i got to throw a rock at a... At a wolf. I could light a torch, drop the torch, throw a rock at a wolf. All right, we were really cold. We're going to take a little damage. You know what we should do? I'm going to drink that. Just to help with the mitigation of the damage. It's going to take us an hour or so to get there to the cabin. I didn't want to stop every five minutes to get firewood. So that's why we, that's why we broke that stuff down inside the warmth. Of the prepper's lodge or prepper's cache. Okay, guys, here we are. There's food right here. Let me get warmed up right quick. Let me grab some. There's not much. 
This is really small pieces. These are nuggets. These are venison nuggets. There's not a lot here. So we're gonna just grab it all and I'm gonna eat all of it. Because I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Each one is only like 30 or 40 calories. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, what we've done is uh, we we um, we t we stole a deer from a from a wolf, and I am uh, when I say there's only 30. Or, oh, this is 100 calories. 273. I'll make a liar out of me. That's fine. We're gonna eat this stuff really quickly. Most of them are small calories, though. And I'm gonna grab all of it. We're gonna try to get into. We're trying to get all the way to Ash Canyon today. So we're just going to wait for the the weather to stop. I hope it like the wind stops blowing. That'd be great. I am getting warm, by the way. So I'm not, I don't have to worry about a, a fire right now. But it did bring the firewood just in case I had to start a fire. So we're going to eat all this food, all of it. It's all going away. It's 65% still, but at level 5 cooking, I can eat whatever conditioned food. It doesn't matter. So, And I left this here on purpose. I, I mean, well, I mean, we left it here because we had to leave. But... Um, and I made that extra fishing line so that when we come back, we're going to be able to fish. I think I might not use the firewood right now. We might wait and use it for fish when we come back because I might not have any food when I come back. We might have food, but we might not. You never know. We're in better condition now than we were, though, because the last time we played in the last season, we had um, we didn't have level 5 cooking when we went through there, and I was I was struggling with the with the food that we found because it was low quality and I was, I was worried about getting sick and I was getting sick and this is just an easier way of taking care of things so we're going to get all the way full it's like 2500 calories about so oh by the way this is a no bow interloper if you didn't know I'm not using a bow uh, you guys are like why don't you have you have tools why don't you have a bow because I'm not, I don't want a bow. I'm trying to make it more difficult for myself. That so, if you, for those of you who are just watching this video and you haven't seen uh, the channel ever, this is why. <laughs> it's why it's more difficult for me. So we are gonna. I'm gonna sit here for an hour and we're gonna get warmed up. See if we can get blue skies out there. Okay, it's getting warmer because it went from one arrow up to two arrows up. So visibly, it's gonna be warmer. Let's wait for another hour. And now it fogged over on me. That's going to be a four to six hour. F oh, I know it's a blizzard. Never mind. All right, we're going to be here for a minute. So I went ahead and that's six hours, guys, minimum. So we went ahead and we got some birch bark. We're going to make some birch bark tea. I'll boil some water when I'm here. I picked up another can while we were back at that prepper cache. So... I'm going to use, no, I'm not going to use that accelerant. I'm going to save that accelerant for later. I've got seven. Okay, we're going to do this. Start this up. Come on. I'm just going to make that one tea, I think. I might boil some water. We might, we might keep some water here, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and add... How many sticks do I have? Six. Uh, let's just do that. That's that's an hour. We can do a batch of water for each one of these cans, and still have enough time to. Uh, yeah, twelve. So it's twenty-five minutes to make water for these cans, whereas it's two hours. That and that was point. Two six, so it's it's 30 minutes basically to do half of the big pot of water which normally takes two hours to make or no it'd be an hour and a half to make so it's still it's still less time to use cans than it is to use the pot right, let's go ahead and let's uh, cook I think I guess somebody do the math for me on that and see if that's right I think that's right much longer do I have 25 minutes on this. Uh, well, that's a, that's good enough. Let's just go ahead and um, do I have anything else I can cook? I can make, you know what? I can make one more cup of coffee. Let's just do that because I just feel like we might need it. 
All right, wolf pelts, deer hide. Let me see what I've got in the way of... Do I need to fix my pants? They're 99%. No, I don't need to fix my pants, my deer skin pants. So we will take this hide with us when we go back down because I'm going to need that hide for making my boots. Or you know what? I could actually make another set of, of pants because these are 3.6. Uh, this is 3.3. Actually, they're the same as the combat pants, so it doesn't really matter except for the fact that I can use deer hide versus using cloth to fix my clothes. So 81, 85. Do I have any? Oh, what happened to my other hat? Why is that off my head? That should not be off my head. That's weird. 89. Do I have any? I've got one rabbit and one gut. Let's go ahead and make, let's fix our let's fix our uh, gloves right quick because we're at 89 percent, and I can repair those while we wait. We may as well. Okay. Brand new. It didn't really help too much, but it'll keep them keep the damage from going too low. 91. All right, let me see. Do I have any cloth on me? I'm trying to get one or two degrees out of this if I can. Okay, that was the second time we failed. There we go. And do this one as well. That storm wasted most of my day, but it should be warm. Let's step outside really quickly. It's still two arrows down, but you know what? I think we're going to head out anyway. Let's see. I'm going to eat that one cattail. We used 25% of my calories that I had already. Oh, what do we have in here real quick? All right, nothing really major. Uh, how many how many matches do I have? I got forty four matches on me. I don't have to worry about it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose. It's, that's gonna be a half. A, it's almost a pound of matches. I don't need that book right now. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's transfer half of these matches over. Leaves me a twenty matches. Plus, I've got this fire striker, which I. I don't really need the matches, but I definitely want to shave off five or half a pound. Uh, we don't need the tinder because that's a half a pound we don't need right now. We don't need this uh, this wood, so we're going to drop that. I'm going to save that for when I come back. Okay, I think we're all right. All right, so will I have enough time? No, I don't think I will have enough time. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night. I changed my mind. Let's go out and get some cattails, and then we'll sleep for the night. Okay, guys, let's see how many cattails we got. That was uh, that's everything. I think that's all the cattails on the on the pond. We were really lucky. There were no wolves there. We're gonna go ahead and check. It looks like it's 27 cattails. That's gonna get me all the way to Ash Canyon with no problem. Even if we have another storm, I think we're gonna be good. Let's go ahead and sleep it off for now. Let's see how many calories do I have? I have a 1,405. We're gonna go ahead and drink the rest of our water here. And then sleep for the rest of the night. We're going to get up. It's going to be cold in the morning. I know I preach about not sleeping or not, not wandering around in the morning because it's so super cold. I don't think we have much of a choice. I think we're going to have to get down into Ash Canyon. And we're going to have to take some damage. But I've got extra food here. So I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. But it is snowing again. So that could be bad for us. But if we spend too much time here just diddle-daddling around, we're not going to be successful. So we have to, we have to spend uh, as much time risking it as not risking it. Now, I really don't have to eat, okay? 
Um, this is where we're going to start rationing our food because I don't have a bonus right now. And we are this we what eat soon. this weather. No, we're not going to eat. We're actually going to take damage on purpose because we lose one percent per hour when we don't eat is all. And I need five cat. I need five cattails per night to be able to get enough calories to heal myself for the next day. I need 750 calories is all I need. So if we ration our cattails right now, that's five days. Plus, a little bit. But we, Ash Canyon has a bunch of cattails. So I'm going to start rationing my food here. There's the wolf we were looking for last night. See him right there where my dot is. His open door right above. There's a dot. I'm right on that wolf. He's right there. I see him. He's walking around on the other side. Uh, we didn't we didn't have to worry about him yesterday because he was gone. But we, today, though. All right, we're going to chill for uh, four hours. Not four hours, maybe. Whenever I get dehydrated, we'll stop. I don't want to be dehydrated and not have food. That's good. I just want to try to get it, make, make it a little bit warmer here. All right, I think we're going to be good. Let's just go. Um, if I wait too much longer, it's, uh, who knows what's going to happen. Okay, right here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a fire, guys. We're not going to blow out on me. We're going to be, we're, we're, we're kind of warm. So this is where we're going to start the fire. Um, and hopefully that's going to get me warmed up so that we can get over to the fishing shack. And start another fire over there. Come on. We're gonna be doing like a like it's like a three-step process to get to the cabin there. So it worked. I don't know if it's gonna warm me up. Let's see. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and add um, some sticks. Twenty degrees, maybe. I need two more sticks. I might need 30 above. This might not work. I mean, I have what it takes. Let's go ahead and uh, let's plop down some uh, some birch bark tea and some coffee. There we go. Now we're going up in temp. All right, that's cool. So I don't really need it. Go ahead and drink that. Take that. Let's go ahead and wait for an hour. Where can I find something okay. to eat? I healed my hypothermia wrist, so that's really all I need to worry about. Let's go ahead and grab this. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Drink that real quick. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to run out of torch before I reach the fishing shack, I think. Maybe. I might be able to just bypass it and just keep going. We might just keep going. Got a lot of cattails here. Um... But I don't need those right now. You know what? Let's just go. I don't need the cattails. I've got 25, 27 cattails, something like that. I don't need the cattails right now. We're good. We need to make it to the cabin. And then I'll warm up. And if we still have daylight, we'll try to make it to the cave. So we hug this right side of the mountain. With a cliff face here. All right, the wind's going to kick up. It's going to put out my torch. If it puts out my torch, we're going to have to rely on, on flares, and I don't really know that I care about that. Or if, I don't know if I care to do that, I should say. Ooh, I might make it. Oh, no, it went out. Ha, ha, ha. Of course it went out. 
All right, in that case. We're going to have to buy we're going to have to wait out the storm, I think maybe. Maybe. I, mean, I could probably make it. Got to eat soon. Pretty bad though. We got like an hour with this. This one piece of coal is not going to be enough to do very much, but we're going to see what we can do. Because this storm is going to be about a four or five hour storm. I'm That's done. probably better off just going and leaving. But... If this will raise the temperature enough for me to get warmed up, we'll have an hour of getting warm. And then we're... Yeah, okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to... I guess we'll just chill. We'll just uh, pass time for an hour, huh? There we go. That's cool. That'll work. We still have 39 minutes, so I'm going to call it. Oops. So we're going to call it um, another hour of wait. That's the end of that. All right, but we're warm. However, I'm going to have to probably use a flare to get me past these wolves. The wind has died down enough that I think I can use a torch. To get past these wolves. We're saving these cattails for later because we might need them. There's a wolf. There's two wolves. We're going to light this right now. Hopefully the wind doesn't kick up. Is there anything back in here? No, this is just a cubby to get trapped. The wolf didn't bark, so I don't think he saw me. Maybe he did. They're not timber wolves, though, so I don't have to worry about them get, uh, ganging up on me, so we're good. That's weird. That wolf should have, like, barked at me and, and charged me, and he didn't. It must have been just right outside of his periphery. Periphery? Periphery. That's a word. I can't believe I actually bypassed those wolves, dude. Here's the cabin where we want to get warmed up. It's only one arrow down on the temp. If I stay for an hour... Oh, it's going to get dark. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, I don't know. It's always a question, do we do we push it or do we not push it? There's coal and firewood. Let's go ahead and just see what we've got here right quick. Let's see if that'll make my decision easier, maybe. Hope nobody needs this. I don't anymore. want the arrowheads because we're not gonna do anything with that. I don't care about spray paint. I'm not gonna read that shooting guide right now. We might come back. You know what? I might take it. We might take it, maybe. Um there's a candy bar. Boop. That's going to be... That's extra calories. There's some more matches. That's great. I think I might be able to... Let's put this out right quick. And let's um, let's chill for an hour. Actually, you know what? These books... What's my carry weight looking like? 59 out of 65. I've got plenty of carry weight that we can, we can deal with right now. So let's go ahead and let's drink... No, let's eat a couple of cattails. And then I'm going to wait for an hour, and then we're going to see if we can't hit the cave. Just need to get, I just need to get warmed up. That's all I need. I've never been so hungry in my life. This is really good. This is really good. Okay, there's going to be some wolves here, so we're going to light this right now. There's guaranteed wolves here, 100%. At least two, maybe three, depending. 
and it's right where this where this waterfall is so you got to be really careful that they don't, they don't jump down and get you Come on. Don't do that. See? What I said? There you are, homie. All right, so. If I can get up this or not, we're going to find out. I don't think I can. I think I'm going to get stuck. We might get attacked. Nope. I'm running. If I can get out and about, I'll die if I don't get stop, some food stop. Soon. There he goes. He stopped his charge. Now I don't know if I can, if I can throw a rock or not. We're gonna find out. Nope. All right, he ran. He's he did he did run, ish. Let's see if we can get past him. All right, now I'm past him. I only had the one rock, though. My fingers feel numb. We only have one arrow down, which is great on our temp. There's more wolves up top because I heard them. <sighs> yep. <sighs> He's, he started to charge. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, 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 I almost went off that edge. Okay. So, it's all about maneuvering around these suckers. There's two more there. So, we've got three on our ass. I think we're golden. I think we're good. We got past them. It doesn't matter if I run because they're going to just keep, they're going to make chase. But as soon as I stop, they're going to be uh, wary of the fire. And they might attack, but it's uh, very rare. One in a hundred chance that they would attack me. And the, and the cave's right here, so we're going to escape them. So suck on it, boys. I'm out of here. Okay. We're in the cave, which means we made it a lot further than I expected to today, which is great. Oh, look, another flare. I'll take that flare. Okay, now, this is a main problem. You gotta worry. Okay, we have a, we're gonna have to go blind, okay? We're gonna go put this out. And then we gotta take all of our clothes off. Because if we don't, we're gonna go ahead and all of our clothes are gonna be soaked. We don't want that. So we're gonna take them all off when we go through the, the waterfall. We're not coming back this way, so you only have to do this once. There's a rope down the back side. We're gonna I didn't want to climb the rope, because it's three ropes. And going up is a whole different story than going down. Alright, now we got this real quick. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I guess I could have left that lit. I could have left it lit. Cause it would just put it out. Let's just do that. I'm just I'm gonna waste a match. Because we got that extra pack of matches back there. No such thing as extra, but now that we're naked, let's just walk right through this. It puts that out, but then you know that you've gone through it. Wait, I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Now I can put this stuff back on, because I know I'm through that, even though I'm in the water. Like, I, my feet are going to be wet, but that's okay. Now see that's getting wet right there? Yeah, my feet are wet, so let's get the lantern out. But I don't have to worry about that. There we go. Get out of here. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Thirsty? I'll give you water. Let's see. I need to get some firewood. What's my carry weight? 59 out of 54. We may have to sleep at the base. Because I don't think I have the... Even with coffee, I don't know that I can climb that rope right now. We'll have to take a rest. We did push it a lot further than I expected today. But we're safe. We're going to be able to eat. We haven't lost that much health. It's just been due to like food loss. 
We're looking really good. Make my way to the top, to the rope. Let's see, is there any coal in here? There's a piece of coal. I want to want to maybe start. I don't know if I would care about starting a fire, but I might if I want water. So I don't know how much water I've got on me. I've got yeah. We're gonna need to boil some water. Just so I don't dehydrate myself. Okay, what do we have down in here? Look at that. We got a, an accelerant, another pack of matches. We've got, look at this, firewood, coal, coal. Now the rope is right here that we have to go up. It's not very far, but I think we're just going to rest because I need to get my energy back. So, And we're going to leave out in the morning anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 100% guaranteed chance to start a fire. Let's do that. All right, I'll go ahead and put this out. And I'm just going to go ahead and use all, well, that's two hours. Maybe I won't use it all. I'm just going to do one batch of water. Then I'm going to sleep for the rest of the time. Maybe I'll do two batches of water. No, I don't want too Looks much. Like something I have to go up. Energy. I have to go up the, uh, the rope. We've got two hours here. I'm going to sleep right here. If it'll let me. won't let me. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and eat, and we'll just sleep for the night. I'm almost exhausted, so we'll just sleep for the whole night. It's fine. It's 500 calories. And that's 800 calories. That's more than I need, I think. Top our water off and sleep for 10 hours. Perfect. That should get me all the way up to full health. Something just got torn. What'd I lose? I heard something get torn. Hang on a second. I heard something tear. Did I lose something in the... I could eat anything right now. Hang on a second. Let me look at... Let me check my clothes. What? How did that... Okay. This, I keep, for some reason, this keeps going, um, getting off my head. This toque still, it, it's the second time it's fallen off my head. I don't know what's going on with that. It, I heard something tear, and that's no longer on my, on my, on my head. So I'm wondering if there's that, that's a bug. That might be a bug. Everything else seems, I mean, we check our gear on the regular basis, so I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. I am going to try it. Well, I can't repair anything. I don't have any cloth, but um, it's really weird. All right. Well, it is just now getting light, so we should be... Whoops. There we go. There it is. Okay. No, because they fixed it now, you can climb a rope, and you have a lantern when you come back, when you get off the rope. That's such a nice, that's such a nice change. We're going to have a uh, wolf over to our left over here. I think my stomach is eating itself. And maybe some more maybe some more food. I don't know. We'll see. I still got some firewood on me so we could potentially Oh, it's a guy. It's not if it, Okay, sometimes it's a wolf here. Just what I need. Yeah, I'll take the soda. Sure. Anything I can get to continue my existence a little bit further. <sighs> Sounds like the weather's nasty out there. So we're, oh, we're not going to leave the cave. It's still dark. And it's a blizzard, too, so we're going to go back in the cave and hang out for a little bit. All right. Go out back just far enough. Got my bedroll still. Put this out. Did I not grab... Okay, I have the cans. All right, I was like, did I not grab my cans? Let's go ahead and harvest that. 
I'm gonna wait for this storm to pass. Probably, I'm saying, I'm thinking three hours to start. Like I said, we only lose one percent of our health every hour we don't eat, so we don't lose that much. Until I, but until I hear the, let me put that away. Until I hear those that wind stop, we're not going anywhere. Another three hours. Okay, is that good? You know what? I think I might. Well, there, let's go ahead and I'm gonna sleep. Let's. let's I think we're gonna sleep for another. No, I think we're good. I think I'm okay. I was gonna wait, but it might be warm enough to do something with. It's a beautiful day. Still three arrows down, but okay, if we go left, we're gonna we might hit the well I mean we, we, wait, not left. I have to go this way. Alright. Our next left. <laughs> we would hit the possible wool or bear spawn, but Actually, it is a bear spawn. It's a bear cave. He's, he crashes out in there, over there, but we're going to go this way instead because the technical backpack is this way, so. But when we come back, we're going to go that way, and they got the, the, the mining town that's over there. Okay, this rope, I need this mountain. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It's heavy, but I need it. I need it. So keep your eyes open. It may not be here when you go. For the technical backpack, it might be in a different spot. Keep your eyes open for the mountaineering rope. You need it. You can shimmy your way down, but it's it's dangerous, and you can get yourself killed really easy here. So be aware. That's the one item you do need. There are also other items that are tucked away. You should keep your eyes open for a lot of different really cool things. Like um, I think there's a bear bedroll up here. I think there's a I think there's a, a bear jacket up in here somewhere there might be a wolf jacket i think it depends on the type of game you're playing as to what is actually spawns and there so there are four different loot tables so it, it, it like i think this this is never always here it's never always here it's cool i'll use it let's get warmed up oh we're not going to get warmed up because it's cold all right never mind can i start a fire look at that man I didn't know I could start a fire right there, but I don't know that I would want to start a fire right in front of that cave. I always put it off to the side because I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself. Anyway, sometimes there are things here, but not today. It's really cold, so we kind of kind of have to hurry. Just these little or nooks and crannies. I want to make sure that you did. If you want to make sure that you uh, you keep an eyes open, you never know. can't feel my hands so it's my of my opinion that the developers are making the ropes sway not the not the boards if you look at the boards they don't sway very much maybe a little it's mostly the ropes that are swaying so it looks like you're gonna fall but it's not as big a deal as you might think so if you're scared of going across these bridges be aware that's more it's more an optical illusion than anything am i going the right way i think this is the right way we only go up here once every season, so. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go into this cave. We're going to drop off all of our firewood because we're coming back this way. And if there's a bad storm, I've been collecting the firewood as we come up. There's a couple pieces of coal in here, but we're going to go ahead and drop off all the rest of the firewood that we've got. We've got uh, cedar firewood. I've got four pieces of coal I collected. And i got a fur. We've got ten sticks. We're going to drop all those. Actually, I'm going to drop all but one. Well, if you drop them all, and I'll pick up one just so I have a stick to start a fire. When we get into the cave um, or into the mine shaft, if we if we want to do that, but we're gonna come. I'm gonna drop this frontier shooting guide because that's a pound I don't really need to worry about. Um, I'm gonna keep the book though, just in case I, I you know want to go ahead and use it. But now the firewood, we might need it when we come back up because we're climbing back up this rope. I said I didn't need to worry about it because we're going down the backside the other way, but I don't think we're gonna go down the backside because we want to free up the rope 
Let me go back in here while I talk to you guys. We want to free up the rope um, that's going to get us from the fishing shack where we warmed up down below to the cabin that's right above it. And we want to go ahead and be, that way we have, a, we have a place where we can go fishing, collect all those cattails, go back and forth up and down that rope to sleep in that in that cabin when the when the storms are really bad in Ash Canyon. So uh, we're not gonna go back. We're not gonna go down the back way. I'll show you where the back way is, but we're not gonna go down the back way after we get the technical backpack. We're gonna actually come back this way. So we gotta go back, climb, climb back up this rope. Like I said, it might be bad weather. If it is, we're gonna we're take so shelter. Cold in my life. We're gonna take shelter in the um, in that cave right there. So. We may, have, we may need to rest. I'm going to look over here. We're going to actually put this right here. Grab that flare. That's great. Put that on there. Hopefully, I don't get any uh, hypothermia. Let me double check that. Should have checked it before. We're not bad. We're at 21%. I don't, I'm not worried about it. If I get up there, then we might have a worry, but we're fine for right now. And I'm losing a little health, but we're going to sleep the night. I want to go over here and check to see if there's anything over here real quick. Now, if you don't find the rope, you can come over here and usually get the rope over here. There's usually a rope over here. Right there that you, that you can drop down. Into the, into the mine shaft, I think. Um, I don't know. Really. Oh, yeah, I think this is the back way into the mine shaft. Um, but you can take this rope and you can go over and use it to get down into the front part of the mine shaft. Either way, you're going to be able to get down into the mine shaft. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop down. Okay, we are nearly exhausted, but, um, but we're here. We're, we don't have to worry about going. There's no wolves here. There are rabbits here. I'm going to need to rest soon. So if you are hungry, there will be rabbits here. Uh, I lost quite a bit of health here because of the cold, but um, that's fine. I think there's two rabbits here. So if, once you get into the cave and get warmed up, there should be some food in here. If you've gotten your cooking up to level five before you got here, you shouldn't have a worry. Um, and if you didn't, you, you got rabbits here. That's fresh food, obviously. There's a lot of saplings in here. They can spawn. Uh, whether they do or not, it, it just depends on on the on the loot table. I'm just doing a quick double check to make sure I'm not going to miss anything. I think we're fine. I don't think there's anything here that I, I care about or I can even use. And then this is the mine shaft. I want to. I need to get back inside so I get warmed up. It's going to crouch and go into the mine. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Now, I guess I'll use this for right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat. And catch my breath. Let's grab some coal. We're going to want to probably boil some water. Uh, it's a cotton scarf I don't care about. That's field dressing your kill. I'll take that book. Just what I need. Peaches are good. Take that coal. Oh, Jerry can. Oh my God. Use this. That's great. It's only a third of a pound, but I'll take it. All right. So let's go ahead and real quick. I'm gonna eat. You know what? Let's. We'll drink a soda pop. That's fine. We'll drink a soda, since that's what I've got. And now he's always gonna complain about cold feet. You can take your shoes off. I probably should, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you look at this. We got wet. And our socks and whatever, we can go ahead and take these off before they get too cold. Um, although you gotta so wa cool. watch your temperature because you can catch a frostbite if you if you uh, if you, if your temperature gets too low. So um, you might you have a choice. You can you can take off your shoes and keep them dry and your socks, or you can go ahead and you can put them on and. They're get, getting weaker. They'll get soaked, but now if they if you're if you're in a freeze, and they're soaked, you can get frostbite as well. That's the only time you can get frostbite if you're if you have covered clothes or covered hands, feet, and head. Is if you 
if they if they get completely wet and then they freeze. If that's the case, then you can catch frostbite. Um, I I made that mistake. I did not know that a while back, and I mean it was it was almost a fatal mistake. Because if you know, when you get frostbite, you lose ten percent of your health permanently. That's a brand new. That'll come in torch, handy. Torch, hundred percent torch. It's great. I prefer to just leave my socks and shoes on, and then just let them dry out overnight. Wet feet. Yeah, we're gonna sleep overnight in here. If I get warmed up completely, then we can go ahead and walk through the water again. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. See, every time I'm out of the water, I'm getting my temperature back up. Now, there's not anything back over here. I can't hardly move, guys. We're exhausted, so you know, there's no sprinting. There's no moving fast. So there's nothing back in here ever, I don't think. But I always check because I, th I always think maybe there's a loot table that has something back here. I don't think there is. I don't think there ever is. But we go this way, and so and you're going to have your crampons and your technical backpack, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to – we're going to – let me just take a. I could use this. Uh, cool. Look at them. There's are crampons. Traction for your feet. Rope climbing drains less stamina. Sprains are less frequent, and you can travel with more confidence over weak ice. My favorite thing. And we can repair them now. If you didn't know you could repair them, you can. That's a Mackinac jacket. What? I didn't think we had Mackinac jackets in this uh, in this in in interloper. I'm gonna take it. I don't think it's I mean it might be if I can drop any of this gear uh, oh no it's instead of that yeah that's not gonna work I don't. it's not as good as the parka I don't think we'll keep it I'll hang on to it just for a minute oh uh, let me start a fire right quick and get my I know I know you guys are like our oh, good give us the technical backpack just hang on a second I'm gonna start a fire because We need to do that. I need to get warmed up. And I get to dry. I need to get dried out. We've got a few more things to explore around here, too, so. Which is cool. That did it. That did it. Let's go ahead and just do the uh, the coal, because I've got, like, nine pieces. I'm going to do four hours of coal. And let me turn this off now, because I don't need it. Well, I do. But there's a, a little bit of lantern fuel here. We can fill our... Oh, that's right. I forgot I had that. I just got it, too. <laughs> Refill. Okay. So I've got enough for another uh, refill on my lantern on top of what I've, uh, uh, of a full lantern. So that's great. So let's go ahead and use this for lighting now. We'll get the technical backpack, which is right here. For those of you who are, that's the only reason you're here. There you go. There's a technical backpack. I can go ahead. And, you know, we can put that lantern down right there. It's beautiful. There you go. It's beautiful. Sturdy your backpack uh, with the bell, all the bells and whistles. You can carry more gear before becoming encumbered. Take it. Now it's officially in my inventory, and now I officially have a plus 11 pounds. For you or the, using the uh, metric system, you'll be 5 pounds. If you're wondering why I have so much carry weight, it's because it's in pounds, not in, not in kilograms. I said five pounds. I meant five kilograms. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kilograms, not pounds. So, hang on. No, I don't have enough there. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab this. And there's a couple other things I want to grab. Look how much faster I can move now. Even though I'm exhausted. And here will be a... If it's... Okay, there's nothing there. But if, the, if it was anything but interloper, it would have a rifle. You're guaranteed a rifle over here if it's not interloper. And then we've got a body over here. We got to search. He had a heart attack. It looks like. Looks like he had a heart attack. What's it? What's in his? Looks like he has. Some, it's not. It's a sweater. But. I mean, a, a hoodie. I want your toque, dude. He's like, no, it's mine. Okay, guys. Well, that's the um. There we go. Wood matches. Hang on. Search a drawer. Never thought I'd be dying from starvation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Found a little bit of that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make some water. Anyway, guys, that's a technical backpack. We did it all in one trip. 
I'm kind of kind of happy. Um, it okay. Real time took me two hours. Took me two hours real time to do that. So if you're wondering how long it's going to take um, to do it, like we did two hours, I fast forwarded all the travel, or a lot of the travel, and so that's uh, that's where that's going to. Um, yeah, I think we've cut this down to almost an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour. But yeah, travel time is going to be about an hour, and then all the other stuff, uh, searching and grabbing and and you know warming up and things like that, just another hour. So. Yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'm going to sleep here tonight. We're going to get our, our, our clothes dry. They're, they're, they're working on it right now. I'm going to add some more of this coal. Right now we're just going to do some water. And then we're going to get ready to go down the hill. Tomorrow we're going back down the hill. I'm going to show you um, how, to, how to hook up the Ash Canyon shortcut. That's what it's going to be, I think. I think. I don't know how, what I'm going to name it, but it'll be something like that. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, I, I haven't done any how-tos on this game. Uh, for a long time, we only did the one how to get the code for uh, for for ad, uh, for Bleak Inlet. That's the, I think that's the only how-to I've ever done on this game. But I've played this enough that we're going to start kicking some more how-tos on this game so that we can uh, – so that you guys can uh, have a little bit more knowledge. Because we've got a lot, of, a lot of knowledge that's been, uh, you know, accumulated from the uh, – from the community over the years so all right guys i'm gonna let you go thank you very much for coming in hope you all enjoyed it if you did give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do that right now as i always say i am my usual me be your usual you and we will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you later bye bye